Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and I've got a, another little review from you as things have continued to progress with HSGI having made initially their, uh, they got like the Chris Costa leg panel. It was a little six wide with th about three double space, eagle magazine pouches on there. People loved it for tacos. It was pretty cool, a little wide. Well, a few months ago, HSGI made some improvements and they've released a new laser cut leg panel. And it looks like this without the magazine pouches. So take this magazine out as you can see. You have your nice little laser cut in there. I've, tucked, I've tugged the um, straps back through. I'll cover those in a minute. But yeah, you've got your normal little laser cut. There was an extra band that goes through here. And I mean, I guess if you were wearing it lower on the leg, that's cool. But we want to wear this as high up on the hip as possible. So it's gone. Took that out. It's just a simple little band. Then you have your standard. HSGI leg band that was on the old one. Same idea, rubberized grip. And yeah, so laser cut. This one is only four across, so instead of carrying three mags with the six, you can carry, well, two, especially the single packed ones. But I put a nice little tactical tailor pouch on here, so it's got four. Probably less effective if you're doing the speed running shooting ordeal, which would be more of a real steel thing. But as far as airsoft, if you want to go even lighter than a battle belt, then Two of these you can still carry like, well, six magazines. Oh, well, that's a good deal of weight on the leg, so. Yeah, laser cut. Same standard magazine. This one's got five because of the laser cuts, but that's still five single space, which is equivalent to three double space, so. And then a lot smaller. The third one was basically a whole uh, front of a, of a plate carrier, so. And they've got that cut down, so it takes up less room on the thigh, and it's pretty gnarly all in all. So, on the back here, one of the main improvements, they still have the ventilation for the airway for the legs so you don't overheat, but now they've added two bits of the little neoprene grippy stuff that you'll even find on the Slim Grip Battle Belt. So that's nice. It's going to keep the panel on your leg in one place. You can adjust these. Again, these ones are as tight as possible to get as high up on the belt as possible. Now I'm going to put this magazine back in here because we've covered the laser cut and that's kind of the big thing. And yeah, so we've got a total of four mags. And if we go with uh, the higher grade Ares Amoeba mags I usually use, we can still fit the three in here a bit more uh, tight, but I mean the stagnant or well, the standard mags are just fine anyway, so. That's what we got. Come back in, little HSDI yeah, logo and everything. Now the big improvement they made here, in my opinion, is the way it mounts the belt. They've gone with, similar to the, was it the BDS, um, little thing, a dump pouch I have, they've got this piece of uh, Velcro. It's magic tape in Japanese, this is kind of what I've learned it to be, so. This is nice, this can just mount on to your belt. The old one you had to actually put the little clip bits through and then tighten them up on the belt, and then when you need the panel you'd clip it in place and then strap it over the leg. It wasn't a bad idea, but this is definitely an improvement because now I don't have to even open my belt. I can just be like, oh, I don't need the chest rig today. I'm just going to run, attach this panel to my leg, and we're gonna go really light, because Okinawa gets absurdly hot to begin with. Actually, how far do we want this? About there and there. They're angled at 45 degrees, so you might need to move them up a bit farther. Get, you'll figure out the uh, distance that works best for you with time and practice. So yeah, just run that one up back behind the belt, and then uh, once you got your nice little grippy, like so, you just seal it off, and boom, that's it. This is going to annoy me. I might even cut these, just because I don't like tucking them away. We'll figure out what to do with those in time. But yeah, pop this open, like standard so, run it around the leg, make sure it's not too tight or too loose, and yeah, you too, you go away. So yeah, there we go. The grip is going to keep the magazines from flying around my leg, and yeah. We're now officially lighter than a battle belt. So, the way I've set this up, particularly soft wise, I do have a Polar Star, so there's the opportunity to burn through some real ammo real fast. Keep this one here, generally tab free. I'm not too worried about the magazine flying away on its own. And then this for the backup three mags time situation pending. So, extra ammo, important ammo. So, yeah, we can jump around with this, we can move around. Most importantly, so if we need to do any crazy crawling or anything, we now have a bare chest. 
It's an animal joke. Bears are animals and they uh, shit in the woods. So yeah, our mags, nice and secure. We're doing any crazy running this band isn't a bad idea. But yeah, so it takes up minimal space. I have access to the single most important thing you can have for airsoft operating, you know, ammo with which to pew pew the other guys. And yeah, that's it. There's no belt addition. There's nothing crazy. And this is actually pretty light. We can jump, we can sprint. My neighbors aren't gonna like that. I'm on the second floor. But yeah, a few options. Now I got this green one on here because if you look at the plate carrier, all the brown ones are on there. So I don't mind this being off color. This is gonna match the ranger green of the uniform pretty well anyway. But yeah, super, super, super light. Comfy, I know I keep moving around and everything, but ah, as you can see, it's not going anywhere. And this is just a simple 5'11 belt and 5'11 pants. So fits great, really comfy. Four magazines, all of which easy to get a hold of, throw away, go, oh, I don't have a fast mag, grab a new one. Oh look, closes. Now there's a bit of jingle because we don't tighten it, but then you can even just put a new one in here. If you got downtime, you go, oh, you should get another fast mag before we go into that house. Baller. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. And then when you're done, and you don't want to wear this anymore, because I don't know, let's say it's so absurdly hot, and it is Okinawa, that even your leg gets that little bit of sweat, and then there you go, clink, pop up here, pop the elastic, pull that out, and oh look, you're free. You're done with your time at the range. You don't need to worry anymore. And that's all there is to it. Simple, practical upgrades. It's what I like to see, honestly. Because now you got smaller panel, because the last one had to bend around the leg a bit and take up more space to clip onto the back and front sides. So, yeah, this resolves all this problem. So in Okinawa, I don't have to wear the super hot plate carrier or even the ventilated chest rig. I can carry magazines and only magazines and be set for some games particularly doing a very light recon run and also the fields in okinawa are tiny anyway fun but tiny so i generally won't need more than a couple mags anyway the six to nine mags i can carry on my chest rig great for respawn games and very large fields where there's going to be a lot of pew pew okinawa not so much so that's all i have for you guys today if you have any questions feel free to hit me up this panel is pretty awesome, and it's only, I think it's the same price as the old one. You said, I don't remember how much you paid for the old one, but this one's like 50 bucks if you were in the right place. Maybe you can even find it cheaper, so. Cheers, stay chivalrous. Hope this video was insightful. If you're starting up into the sport and you want to travel light with plenty of ammo, then you can skip over the plate carrier until later. And yeah, carry this and a simple gun. You're set. Cheap and effective. So, cheers everyone. I'll see you in the next video.